Today we're speedrunning every single minigame in Mario Party Superstars. And for our first minigame, we're gonna choose Bowser's Big Blast because this by far is the most luck-based minigame in the entire game. All we can do is pick a lever at random and hope that it doesn't cause the Bowser head to explode. Now you'll see that there are five levers in four people. So if we get really unlucky, then we can end up being in this limbo where nobody gets out for a while, but hopefully that won't happen. I guess even if it did, I would just reset. And yeah, I've spent way too much time on this mini game just resetting over and over again, but at the very least, it is a good time to explain the rest of the speed run. So in this speed run, there are gonna be luck-based mini games like this one. There'll be mini games that take skill, counting mini games, mashing mini games. There's a whole bunch of things. And then at the same time, some of them are gonna be really hard but some will be really easy because sometimes we'll be making the CPUs easy difficulty and sometimes they'll be master difficulty depending on the mini game and what will end up being fastest. But anyways that's about the explanation now we can see that we're right at the end and hopefully I'm going to be able to finish out right here. Usually the way I do it is I try to get a sub 130 on the first mini game and if we're able to do that we'll continue on but if it takes a bit longer we reset so we really need Yoshi to mess up here. I don't know if this is actually coded into the game but usually Yoshi goes for the green lever for the last one and it looks like that is going to set off an explosion so finally we actually have a run and we're going to be able to continue on sorry about that yoshi but we'll take that win second we're on to mushroom mix-up easily one of my favorite mini games what i'll do right at the beginning is flatten all of them we actually get yoshi to leave right there and now we just have to deal with these two other people which rosa Lena, I don't know what Rosalina just did. All right, now we just have to deal with Luigi, I guess. We can flatten him. He's not going to be able to react. And that's going to be our second mini game as well. Now we're on to Bombs Away, and this is probably one of the easiest mini games of the bunch. All we have to do is dodge all these cannonballs that the pirate ship is shooting at us. Thankfully, they're really slow, and all we have to do is jump to not get in that confused state like everybody else is. Now, what we're hoping for is that they fall into the water because the longer they're on here, the longer the mini game is gonna go. And yeah, we wanna win faster, obviously. So hopefully they'll get hit by a cannonball. There goes Rosalina right there. And Yoshi might be able to get off too. There he goes. Now we just have to get rid of Luigi. But I also get hit by a cannonball, but it gives me first place since I died slightly after Luigi. That's insane, but I'm gonna take it. Next, we're on to Shy Guy Says, which is one of my favorite mini games, at least when you're playing harder difficulty CPUs. Obviously for the speed run, for a bunch of these mini games, we're gonna go with the easiest difficulty just cause it's faster. Though we're actually going to be doing master difficulty for some of them, but there you go. With the easy CPU, they just all got out at the exact same time. So yeah, thanks Shy Guy, that was pretty nice of you. And then we have Crazy Cutters, another one of my favorite mini games, but also a pretty hard one if you wanna perfect it. I always try to go for the perfect 100%, but I've only been able to get it twice before because it's so precise. If you mess up just a tiny bit on this boo, you're gonna get like a 99 or a 98. And yeah, there is my big mess up. I just messed up his little hand thing. Can you even call those hands like arms? Whatever that is, but that's probably not gonna give me a perfect score. It doesn't really matter because we're gonna win regardless. But yeah, there we go, 94. And we get to see Boo pop out of the ground, be nice and happy. Six, we have Tipsy Turney, and this is going to be the first mini game where we're gonna wanna use master CPUs. The reason behind that is we're gonna have to wait for them to finish as well. We can't just finish it and end it. So by using master CPUs, we can save a little bit of time, especially because the easy CPUs are terrible at this game and we just barely get first place. I actually almost got beaten by Yoshi. And yeah, we're gonna have some even harder master mode mini games later in this video. So just wait for those. But before we actually get to those, we have Dizzy Dancing and this is gonna be one of the easier mini games. All we have to do is just go from music note to music note. Now I don't even have to get this many because as you can see the CPUs are not really the greatest in the world but I try to go for a new record for myself I believe right now my record is 24 so maybe we can get 25 we aren't doing the best job in the world we kind of messed up with a ground pound just a second ago but the timer is coming down I actually think I might be able to get 25 this time but then Luigi takes one of them, but I'm still able to just barely get the 25, even though Luigi stole one of mine. Take that, Luigi, that's what you deserve. Now we have bumper balls, and this one can go either really well or really badly for me, depending on how much the CPUs wanna cooperate. What I wanna do is get them close to the corner. I'll take Rosalina out right there, and then let's go for Luigi. Thankfully, he was actually rolling back for me for a second. And now I just gotta get rid of you, Yoshi. I'm gonna try to get a little bit more momentum. 
Please stop moving. Accept it, Yoshi. I know you are scared of the lava. It probably will murder you. But there we go. We can get him down. Took like 23 seconds, but not the worst in the world. Next, we have Hot Rope Jump. And this is another one of my favorite mini games of all time. I will say it's not as good because we are playing this on the easiest difficulty just so we can kill them faster. I kind of wish I was doing master mode. So if you do want to see a full master mode speed run where all the mini games are master mode, make sure you let me know in the comments and also subscribe. But yep, there we go. All we have is Rosalina who's going to die as well. And that's going to be another one for Mario, which means we're on to our 10th mini game, which is going to be tread carefully. And for this one, I want to aim for each one of these individual cars at one time, shoot them, wait out their invincibility ability frames and shoot them again. I also don't know how I hit the pipe right there, but we're going to take them out pretty easily. And that's another Mario wins. 11th is bumper balloon cars. And in this game, one thing I noticed is they really like putting us in small vehicles and sticking our heads just slightly above them. But anyways, all we have to do for this one is hit the balloons on everyone else's car. I don't know how I didn't hit Luigi there, but he's going to sit there, wait for me to do it. And that's going to be that one done. But now we're on to what is probably one of my least favorite mini games for this entire speed speedrun, which is Sneak and Snore. For this mini game, what we have to do is walk forward in our barrel, but when the Chain Chomp wakes up, we have to make sure he doesn't see us, otherwise he's going to murder us in cold blood. And so what I do for this one to stay alive is start by walking really fast and then slow down. If you're walking fast, it takes you longer to get back inside the barrel. So we have to keep that in mind. And there we go, we hit the button. Now all we have to do is make it back to the door. But I have to be very careful at this point because even though there are no more people alive, if I do die here, it's just gonna be a draw and I'm not gonna get first place. So this chain chop was actually really annoying right there. He woke up like a second after he woke up before and that should be his last wake up. Now all we have to do is make it back out the door and I'm gonna take that time. Not the fastest thing in the world, but we've made it through and finally we can continue on. I've lost so many runs to this mini game. Now we're on to Mecha Marathon, which is going to be our first mashing mini game. But for this one, we actually don't wanna mash as fast as we can. Because if we do, we're going to end up going farther and wasting more time as we watch the little cutscene that's going to happen at the end. So I kind of want to control my mashes to make sure that I don't go too much farther than these guys. I mean, we do have to be safe and make sure that we actually beat them, but they usually make it just to around 20 yards. So as long as I can make it a bit farther than that, I'm going to be fine. You'll see right there, they all collapsed and now we just have to wait for my guy to come down. I always mash just a little too much, but there we go. He's going to land right around 30, which isn't too bad. And by the way, don't worry later in the video we will actually get to see a true mashing ability demonstration but we couldn't do it right there just because we want to save time anyways now we're on to the slot car derby for this one we can get up to max speed which is going to be 200 miles per hour i don't know how one of these cars is getting up there but we don't want to go that fast when we're going around the corners otherwise we're going to spin out like you've seen all of these cpus doing and these are also hard cpus so yeah they're just that bad but there we go i finish off the race now all we have to do is wait for them to finish as well and that's going to be our first place now we have roll call where we're going to count toads so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seven 18, 18, 19, 20. So I'm going to go for 20 right here. And yeah, after that, all we can do is count multiple times again. And I'll just tell you when this one's done. Okay, I did double check myself. It's also pretty funny watching all these strange answers. Like Luigi is literally guessing eight. How do you only think there are eight toads right here? But now we just have to watch them go one by one. The only one I'm kind of worried about is Rosalina because she's at 19, but we got it correct. We got the first place and yeah, Rosalina don't scare me like that again, but yay, it's time for another luck based mini game. And this one is going to be Honeycomb Havoc. Now you might be asking, okay, why are you not doing all the luck based right at the beginning? And that's because it's way too demoralizing just going and resetting over and over again. I already reset on our first mini game enough, so I just like having my luck placed throughout the run instead of doing it all at the beginning and just being sad forever. Anyways, what we have to do for this one is just play smart. Right here, I'm gonna wanna pick the two because that means there's only gonna be two fruit left before there's going to be the first beehive and it looks like Yoshi's gonna pick a two as well, which means it goes to Luigi and yeah, we're surviving a bit more. Now it's a bit scary because there's gonna be less people so we can count that there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight fruit left. Rosalina is going to pick a two, which means now there's going to be six fruit and I'm going to want to pick a one just to make sure that they don't mess me up 
because yeah, if they both picked two after I picked a two, then I would have gotten that beehive. It looks like Rosalina is going to come by and she is also going to pick a two because she's like, yeah, I definitely want to kill Yoshi. I don't want you to kill me. But that kind of puts me in a bad place right here. And that's because once it's down to the last two people, you can make sure that you always win this game if your opponent starts on a multiple of three. But unfortunately, there's eight right here and she's going to pick a two, which puts me on the multiple of three. So I kind of have to get lucky right here. I'm going to pick a one and then hope she also picks a one and that's going to allow me to win. Please, Rosalina, thank you so much. She just messed up big time because you'll see now what I can do is pick another one and there's only going to be three left. So that means no matter what Rosalina picks, I just pick the opposite of her and she's going to get the beehive. I just have this apple left, which I'm going to pick a one on and there's no chance for her to win this. I seriously got extremely lucky right there. And yeah, that was a little scary. I'm not going to lie. All right, finally back to the more fun mini games. We have Snowball Summit, where what we want to do is make a big snowball and then push the other people off using our snowball. So first of all, I'm going to go straight towards Rosalina because she's right by the edge. And these two are actually really helping me out by being by the edge. I can take out Yoshi right there. And all we have to do is kill Luigi as well. I'm just going to keep making snowballs. He's going to walk forward towards them because he has no idea what to do. And there goes my brother and in only 21 seconds. Now we're on to Ice Rink Risk. For this one, we're going to drop down onto the icy platform along with some spiny shells. Now the spiny shells are going to bounce all over the place and try to hit us. It's going to start with just one, so it isn't the hardest thing in the world at first. I just like standing in this corner and Rosalina was coming for my head right there. She was definitely trying to kill me, but we took her out instead. And yeah, Rosalina's been going for me this game. Next up is Bounce and Trounce, and I really like this mini game. What we have to do is bounce on this ball, press A once we make it to the ground so we can get a super jump, and then we can press B to do this spin move and hit the people off the platform. We already got two of them off. Now we just have to deal with my brother. And that was extremely fast. I'm really proud of that one. Which leads us on to Storm Chasers. And this is probably one of the funniest mini games to play on easy mode. You'll see that there's like Luigi who's just standing there doing nothing. A lot of times you'll get the different CPUs just going towards the corner. They aren't even trying to go towards the cloud. They're having a party over there and I guess I wasn't invited. But yeah, I think it's because when Nintendo made this game, they were like, like, we really don't know how to make bad CPUs on this. So instead, every once in a while, they just send them off to a random corner, which is really funny. I just love seeing it. Meanwhile, I can get the biggest plants in the world, just keep giving it its reign. And finally, we'll all get together, compare our plants. And I don't even think Yoshi should have gotten that much rain to have a plant that big. But anyways, I got the win. Next, we have another pretty fun mini game, Mush Pit. For this one, we have to hit the blocks and then one of them will have this mega mushroom, which we can use to take out all the other people. Both the Rosalina and Luigi kind of just wanted to get taken out, but Yoshi was actually able to dodge me, so that isn't the best thing in the world. But I found the next mush, and yeah, Yoshi's just going to get taken out. Could have been a bit faster, but I'll take it. Now for number 22, we have Cheap Cheap Chase. For this one, we have a giant Cheap Cheap that's trying to chase after us and eat us. There are also all these spiky balls, which if we hit those, they're going to end up slowing us down and helping the Cheap Cheap kill us. But what we have to do for this is just dive under those and mash the entire time so we can go a bit faster. You'll see that now we're getting a little farther into the game. I'm definitely making up the distance against both Luigi and Rosalina. And from there, both of them are going to get eaten. We can finally make it back to dry land and win another mini game. Next, we have the chip shot challenge, which is probably one of the most satisfying mini games in this game. Basically, what we have to do is try to get our golf ball closest to the hole, or we can just get it inside it if we're playing good enough. Thankfully, we can also skip all the other people because otherwise that would take way too long and I don't want to see their terrible shots. But I'm going to aim for about here, use a five power. And I think I might have been a little bit too much to the right. Yeah, I definitely could have had a better shot right there, but that should be close enough, especially because we are just on easy difficulty to give me the win. It's also a bit harder because this map is going to be curved instead of just flat but we did end up winning. Rosalina was a bit close, but we took it. And yeah, then we're on to Rock and Raceway, and that means we're also back on Master Mode difficulty, especially for this one, because if we weren't on Master difficulty and we were on Easy or something like that, it would take forever for these other guys to finish. But basically what we want to do is alternate between pressing the left and the right trigger and also keeping the fruits at the top left around two. But once we get that red fruit right there, 
we get unlimited presses so we can just mash both of those buttons you'll also see the people are starting to catch up to me but we just got to keep the pace up and we should be fine now right around here is when the unlimited dash is going to run out so we have to get another one i'm going to be careful not to get the blue fruit because that's not going to give us the thing and will cause us to lose and finally we can mash as fast as we can and obviously we're going to beat everybody so yeah that's going to be another one done which leads us on to messy memory another one of the easier mini games even though i do have them on the master difficulty i just have to memorize where all of these spots are and then we're going to see all these toads come by and they're going to take some of the things off the shelves put them on the floor so we have to place them in their correct order we do have to wait a second for this actually to start so hopefully i can keep this in my mind but it's gonna start with the mario cap at the top left then we're gonna have the mushroom in the middle our next one will be the bananas then we just have the bottom shelf so we can put the egg right there we can put the wario cap in the middle then we can go to the dk tie which is going to be next and finally finish out with this little guy in the bottom right then we can close our curtains which doesn't stop anything we still have to wait the entire time but it's more so your opponents can't see what you put down still we can't really do anything to speed this up and nobody's going to change their answers so it's kind of just a waste of time but finally we can actually see what score we got now even though we are on master mode most of these guys are only going to get eight or nine so as long as we did fairly well we should win but i did get it perfectly done we should get 10 out of 10 points which is going to be a perfect score and another first place now we have trace race which i'm going to keep them at the master difficulty again because i'm pretty confident in my trace race abilities i actually messed up right at the beginning though which was a little embarrassing right as i was saying that but we should still be fine because as long as we get around like the 95 percentile we should be able to win now for this you just want to make sure that your marker stays on the line which as you can see i am going much faster than everybody else and they're probably making more mistakes than me i hope i have gotten 100 percent on this multiple times obviously we're not going to get it this time but i did do pretty well and we should be able to end off with first place so once we all make it to the end, it's going to give us the finish screen and it's going to go back through showing us all of our drawings and we'll see that I did take home the first place. Not going to lie, kind of relieved. Next, we have Book Squirm. For this one, the pages are going to keep flipping and we have to go through the open holes like that one right there. Then we can go slightly down because we'll see another open hole and yeah not the hardest thing in the world it does get harder as you get later into the game though because the pages are going to get faster and faster unfortunately for the cpus though we're never going to get there because of course they are just on easy so we can do this much faster their rosalina is probably gonna die yeah tries to find a hole isn't able to and yoshi right after dies as well so thanks for the fast game next up it's time for another master mode game pass of peril now for this you can take one of two paths one of them is going to be longer and one of them is going to be shorter it looks like first to start out we actually got the shorter one and yeah this is a pretty easy one like i said we are doing this on master mode so the cpus are as hard as they can possibly be but still even though they are very difficult they're gonna fall down a lot and i've already made it to the end i'm still waiting for them so hopefully these guys are gonna hurry up there goes rosalina and now i just need luigi or yoshi luigi takes it but yeah they kind of wasted a bunch of time for me next up is dinger derby another one of my favorite mini games for this one there are four different balls that can get thrown and you can tell which one it is by how long it takes to pitch so you'll see normally it's just going to be the regular kind of fastball if it takes slightly longer it's going to be a faster ball right there was the kind of like change up ball i don't know if that's the actual name for it but there are going to be all four of those which we can just react to using how long the pitches take there's also going to be that lob one where if it happens right away you have a little bit more time to react so we don't really worry about that one and right now we have 20 i just missed one though and two in a row that's a little embarrassing it doesn't really matter because we are going to win regardless and even if we were on master mode we also would have won because all you need is 25 but yeah one day i'm going to get the full 30 points then after that it's time for leap leaf for this one we just have to jump either to the left or the right depending on where the leaf is now the thing is these are easy cpus so i actually don't want to get too ahead of them otherwise it's going to take a bit longer on the ending animation so i'll probably jump a little bit higher and i guess also fall down but as i was saying i'll probably jump a little bit higher right here and we kind of just have to wait for the remaining 12 seconds now i am going to keep a track on everybody else it looks like luigi is getting a little bit too close for comfort i don't want him to beat me so i'm going to go a bit farther than him just to make sure we actually do get the win and finally it's time for the ending animation where we see how far each one of us went which is going to result in another win for me now it's time for one of my all-time favorite mario party minigames 
pushy penguins. I don't know what it is about this one, but it just has so much character. I think I just like the penguins all pushing us forward. And usually there are ways to get through. Sometimes it looks like you are going to die because there are just so many penguins in one group, but we always have to find just a little spot to go through, like by that big penguin right there. And we just have to wait for Luigi to also go down into the water. It looks like he's going down with seven seconds left. And now the penguins and I get to celebrate together. They're like, hooray, we murdered Luigi. Next up is Coney Island, where a bunch of ice cream is going to fall from the sky and we have to make the biggest stack of ice cream to win the game. So you can see the shadows that appear on the ground. We just have to go under them. We can also block off people like Yoshi right there. He's trying his best to get any ice cream, but he still has zero, which is a little pathetic. I'm not going to lie, but I'm just going to try to make my stack as big as possible, especially because we're already going to win the game, but I kind of want to make everybody else feel bad and be like, wow, we're really this bad. So this is probably actually going to be the biggest stack I have ever created because there should be one more right there. And yeah, these guys just don't have a chance. Mario is also kind of walking slow. Maybe I shouldn't have gotten that big of a stack, but it's still going to result in a win. Now it's time for Bill Blasters, which is honestly one of my least favorite games, but that's also because I'm pretty bad at it. I'm also going to put all the CPUs on normal mode instead of easy because I kind of do hope that they'll hit each other, especially because if we have to do this all by ourselves, we have to hit them a total of nine times. So hopefully they'll get in some lucky shots as well. So I don't have to be here forever, but that plan kind of hasn't been working out the best. All we have is one hit on Rosalina. I guess there's also one on Yoshi right there, but the reason this is so hard, I'm honestly not really sure. I think it's just because you have to be really precise with your shots. Otherwise, if you're slightly off, you're not going to hit anyone. Like right there with Rosalina, I just barely missed her. Also, they have their cannons, which can block shots as well. So you have to time your shots to make sure they're at good times. But right now, it looks like we have one hit left on Rosalina. So I'm actually going to focus on Luigi for a second. Get Rosalina right there. And we can also finish off Luigi. Okay, that was not a good start, but it was a really good ending. Now for number 34, we have Nightlight Fright. For this one, a Chain Chomp is slowly going to get closer to us, and we have to shine our flashlight at him, but we want to do it when he's as close to us as possible so we can get a better score. You'll also see that Rosalina, because we are on easy, she's definitely going to die right here. She doesn't have the reaction speed, and that's going to be our win. Next up is Later Skater, and for this one, we're putting them back on Master Mode difficulty because we can do a lot better job, and we're going to have to wait for them to finish out this map like the other ones where we do Master Mode. Now for this, you'll see that all these people, they're pretty good at skating, but as long as we stay close to the center, we're going to be much better at them. We're now like halfway ahead of them, even though they are on master mode. So yeah, we're pretty much taking this one home and I actually might get a new record for myself. Yep, that is going to be a new record. So I'm pretty proud of that. And then we can just wait for everyone else to finish too. Now we have catch you letter where there's going to be this shy guy running around and we have to follow him with some letters so we can get him to collect them. For every letter we get, that's going to be one point for us. And also, okay, dude, please stop. Or maybe the people around me should also be helping. You'll see that the easy CPUs for this, for some reason, all they do is just go around in random circles. They're not even going towards the shy guy, which is a little weird. But we can also get this love letter right here, which is going to be worth three points. And yeah, we don't really need it because we're going to win regardless. But we'll also give him another love letter just because and finally finish out with another one. Which leads us to Trapeze Artist, which is another one of these kind of luck based ones. We want to be lucky enough to get the golden Goombas because they're going to be worth three Goombas instead of just one. And right at the end, we got one of them. I think, okay, also Rosalina got a golden Goomba, but I think we have more Goombas than her. After this, we do have to wait through this long Goomba counting animation. They just go one by one and we can see who's pathetic like Luigi who only got two Goombas. Probably should have tried a bit harder than that. But it looks like myself and Rosalina are actually going to tie for this one, which I'm going to take. Next is what goes up, which I also really enjoy because this one is fully skill based and I also don't have to nerf myself. I can try hard and try to beat my record, which right now is going to be 168. Now to beat this, I have to be perfect at it, which so far we've been doing a pretty good job at. If I miss a single one of these jumps, we won't be able to beat it though. So I'm just going to try my hardest and yep, there was the mess up. See, I probably shouldn't put this pressure on me and then I wouldn't mess up like that. 
but we can still get a pretty good score while everybody else is just slowly jumping up. I don't even know if they're trying or not, but I'm going to get 164, which is almost there, and we'll also take that win while everyone else plummets to their deaths. And now we have Snow World, which is one of the funniest mini games in this entire speedrun, because what we're going to do is as many twirls as possible. You'll see right here that I might be able to beat my record, and there we go, I actually beat my record, so I'm pretty proud of that. But after that, it's going to be one of these where we skip everybody else's things. But you'll see there's kind of a little bit of a difference in how good we are. <laughs> they are even breaking a thousand degrees and they're still celebrating. I mean, it's not too bad, but yeah, a little pathetic, guys. You all should be sad for that performance. And that leads us to number 40, Monty's Revenge, which I really don't like this minigame. Now, that mostly is just because I tried playing this on Master Mode, and to beat the CPUs on Master Mode is one of the hardest things in the world, because the Montys will go after you instead of the CPUs, like, so often. But when we're playing it on Easy Mode, it's really not that bad. We can just pop in different holes. We're already beating everybody by a lot. I'm just going to try to see how much time I can keep my head out of the ground and maybe we can get to like 18 19 seconds there are only three two one and that's going to be 18 seconds i'm going to take it and that will also be a very clear win now we have the final countdown and this one's fun playing against friends against cpus though not very much all we have to do is push them off this stuff and yoshi how did you dodge that okay this guy is kind of insane and he almost just pushed me into the hole but then he fell in rosalina also falls in that was a little scary but we did come home with the win at least now we're on to pokey pummel which is a true test of mashing abilities last time i did a mashing one you'll remember i had to nerf myself because we had to go a bit faster but here i can actually try my best and i can just beat the master mode cpus by like 0.2 seconds then it's time for manner of escape for this one we have to go in random doors and also pay attention to the doors that the cpus go in so we can find the correct one to go down one place you'll see now we're on the second level and yoshi is following close behind us but because they're on easy difficulty they don't keep track of where we go so we have all the time in the world to find the correct door it should be right around here maybe and okay it's gonna be this last door and here's where something funny happens right as soon as we get first place this is when the cpus are gonna get super smart which makes me think maybe they aren't dumb instead they're just kind of letting me win which would make too much sense we need a game theory on this and yeah kind of a hollow victory especially after seeing the ending but right after that it's time for some more counting because we're on goomba spotting that's going to be one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen he's chilling there for a second seventeen 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Okay, I think I got that right, but we should at least be close enough because everyone else guessed around 40, which is way too much. And I might be one off. I'm not exactly sure because those last few people were going by so fast. And yeah, we guessed 32, it was 33. I'm still gonna take home the victory though because everyone else had no idea. Next, we have flash forward where we wanna stand on the podium and be in front of everybody else. Now this one is also really hard because these CPUs can be ridiculous, moving you out of the way. And no, it just took me off. Okay, yeah, we just messed up. You'll see that Rosalina and Luigi did better than us. So yeah, we have to reset this one. That's only our first reset though. So I'm actually gonna take it. We're not losing that much time either. It's only like 15 seconds, but please get out of my way. These easy mode CPUs are sometimes even harder than the master modes, but that should be good because I was punching Yoshi in the picture, but Yoshi was also getting hit. So we should both only get seven points. And that means we're both gonna share on the win. And yeah, tying for first place obviously still counts as first place. Now we have Rapid River Race, which is really hard to do on master mode difficulty. So I'm only actually gonna put these people on hard just to make sure I'm actually able to win. Now what we have to do is make sure we get up to speed. I like getting up to one level before max speed because when you are max speed, it becomes almost impossible to dodge these things unless you're frame perfect. But doing it this way, we have plenty of time to react to everything. And it looks like the other people have been getting hit a little bit. 
we can finish out right there with first place, but of course we still have to wait for the people. Now this is a little extra time loss, but it's much better than losing the mini game and wasting even more time. So I'm just gonna take my first, even if we lost like 10 seconds. Next up is facelift where we have to distort Bowser's face to look like this. So that's going to be the thing that we have to go after. And we have five different limbs that we can move. First of all, I'm gonna move his right cheek to about there. Then I'm gonna move his jaw over maybe a little bit to the left. Then also this cheek, we'll put a bit over there. Oh, by the way, I said five limbs, we actually have six. We do his nose and then we're gonna do his eyebrows to about right there. And then the left eyebrow can go about right there. I'm using how much of his eyes are shown to kind of help me with that. But finally, we can move his jaw over a tiny bit more. And I think by far, I definitely have the one that looks the most like the example. So obviously we're gonna take home the win. Now we're on to Dark and Crispy because we're finally out of the four player mini games and onto the Bowser mini games, which I guess to be fair, this is still four player, but these are the ones specifically for when you get the Bowser spaces. At least I'm pretty sure that's what they're for. Anyways, they're gonna get taken out and we're gonna get that win. Next up is Pit Boss, where Bowser is gonna throw a bunch of spiky balls down at us and obviously they're gonna try to kill us. There goes Yoshi and Rosalina at the same time, so that was really good. And Luigi, please. Luigi was just kinda like playing with my heart right there. I thought we were gonna get this done so fast, but he's kinda juking all these things right now. Unfortunately for him though, once there are three balls, he gets taken out, we take another one. And with that, we're done with the Bowser mini games and onto the 1v3 mini games. Now for these 1v3 mini games, we can choose whether we wanna be the single person or part of the three person team. And for the first one, we wanna be the single person since we're just skateboarding. Now it might seem like if we were on the cloud team, we would actually be able to finish this faster, maybe take out the skateboarder, but you can't really help when you're on the cloud. It seems like you're helping the Piranha Plant go faster, but as long as the person on the skateboard is playing fairly well, you're never gonna catch up to them. And I don't really wanna take that risk with my speed run, especially because we are now about halfway through it. So yeah, we're just gonna be the skateboard person. It might take a little bit longer, but it's also gonna be a lot more consistent. And other than that, there's not too much to say about this mini game. It's pretty easy, it's pretty slow. We swing on some vines and stuff and finish out right there with our first 1v3 win. Now for mini game number 51, this is the easiest mini game in the world, tug of war. And yeah, those people are already dead. And yes, again, we killed them. They really like murdering people in Mario Party games. I'm not gonna complain though. Next up is Archer Ival. For this one, we just have to shoot the people. They can only slowly move back and forth and they can also get blocked by both the Boo and the Goomba but we haven't even needed them so far. Now we just gotta get Luigi, who actually dodges one of them. He's kind of skilled, I'm not gonna lie, but we can just go to the corner, take him out right there. Now we're on to look away, where we're actually gonna be part of the team of three for this one. And it's pretty simple. We just wanna look in a different direction than Luigi looks. And actually, now that I'm thinking about it, it might've been faster to be the one person than the three people. I'm used to playing this one on master mode, but yeah, whatever, we're just gonna take it. So the nice thing about playing it on easy mode is that Luigi will just stay to one direction. So after he rotates his face, or I guess doesn't, he's just looking straight forward, we can just go to a different direction and we don't have to worry about it. Now there are only two more times we still have everybody alive. We're gonna go over to the left and there's only one more time where Luigi has to get out all of us at the same time. So we'll see if he's able to get a single person and he goes up, actually gets Rosalina. And that's also the reason I like picking Mario. Did you see how mad he got at Rosalina for getting out? It was hilarious. But yeah, we're gonna take home that win. But we're back to being the single person for title toss because we have a very simple strategy of just doing small jumps and everybody should get out except Yoshi is being a little annoying. Okay, I'm just gonna do a big hit this time and there we go, it actually got him out. That was a little weird. Then we're on to Boulder Ball and back to the three person team. So we can finish out this mini game, hopefully a bit faster there's that boulder which is gonna hit Yoshi just barely misses me and yes actually Luigi please go for the CPUs instead of me I should be able to dodge this I'm gonna go over to the left and that should be a win right there thank you very much in only 15 seconds that was a little scary though now we have coconut conk I'm gonna hit Yoshi just for a little bit of good luck I just kind of wanted to and all we have to do is hit Luigi with a coconut nice and easy it just took four seconds next we're doing spotlight swim and for this one we want to put the CPUs back on master mode because otherwise our other spotlight people just go all over the place but we are kind of getting juked by Luigi right now hopefully we can get him with that time 
Yeah, he just kept going underwater, but he couldn't escape us forever. And that leads us to hide and seek, which is going to be another luck based one. For this one, we have to hide behind one of these things and hope Luigi doesn't guess where we hide. Now, unfortunately for this, I can't communicate with my teammates and we can't all pick a different hiding spot. So we kind of just have to hope that Luigi won't pick any of us. The first one's gonna be a log and that's pretty nice. Now we did go for the three person team because I feel like it's a bit more consistent that we win when we're part of the team. And hopefully that will actually hold true. We have two more rounds, okay, for this one, Luigi is going to go for the mushroom house which that is going to be all of us. Wow, you know, sometimes you just get really bad luck, but we're back to round two. Hopefully this time we'll actually be able to do something. He only gets Rosalina this time. There's still both myself and Yoshi. So there is more than a 50% chance that we win this, but I have to hope that Yoshi and I are gonna pick two different things. Otherwise, yeah, it could be a bad thing. So Luigi goes for the rock, Okay, I'm gonna be behind that one and Yoshi is too. <sighs> now I'm gonna save you a little bit of time. We had to reset twice more after that one you just saw. So yeah, we got really bad luck, but please Luigi, just let this be the one. Hopefully Yoshi and I picked a different thing. He's going to go for the log and it's just me, thank you. Okay, finally we won. I guess maybe I should have been the guesser. I don't know. It was just really bad luck, but at least that's finally the win and like a three minute time loss. At least we're finally on the goal, the soccer mini game. For this one, we have to score a bunch of times on Luigi. That is not the best start. I also have us on master mode difficulty because then my teammates are gonna be a bit better, but I'm kind of playing terrible right now. I am missing all of my shots. They aren't even on goal. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I'm a little bit razzled from that last little bit. So that might be affecting my performance, but I need to focus up. Please let me hit the target. I am literally throwing right now. Yeah, this is going to have to be a restart. Okay, we are going to focus up. I'm not gonna let it affect me. What I'm gonna do this time is just focus on one point, I think. So I'm gonna focus on the right side of the goal and hopefully my teammates will hit the other things. I don't even know how Mario is hitting this ball. The ball is like to the left of his foot and he's shooting towards the right, so that's a little weird. But there we go, it was so easy. I just need to calm down and play my game and we're gonna be fine. But hey, we're on to number 60 squared away. Now I remember when I was a kid, for some reason this game kind of like terrified me. Just the idea of being the small little guy trying to get crushed by all the big guys. But all right, Yoshi, you definitely got Yoshi. Yo Yoshi, what are you doing? Okay, we still should be fine, but that was just kind of embarrassing of Yoshi. At least I can take Luigi out right there. Not the best performance, but we got it done pretty quick. Then we have Tube it or Lose It, and this is another really funny one on easy mode because the CPUs just don't move. They kind of just sit there, and we hit them all, and it's already over. <laughs> yeah, I guess they just gave up on that one. Following that, we have Pogo a Go Go. For this one, we're trying to get the CPUs to go inside the holes. We already got Yoshi right there. We're gonna move it over in this direction and maybe get Luigi and Rosalina. Yeah, nice and easy when they're on easy mode. Then with Tackle Takedown, we probably have the fastest mini game. We go straight over, and in two seconds, we're already done. <laughs> <laughs> They're not the greatest at tackling you in football. Then in Skewer Scary, we want to confuse them a little bit by switching the direction we're going in and take them out all in a single time. So maybe that one was even faster than the football one, actually. But that'll be the end of the extremely easy ones for now because we're finally on to the 2v2 minigames with Bobsled Run. Now for this, we're going with Luigi. You know, we got that brother power. And the bobsleds control really weirdly where you kind of have to slowly tilt over. It's not the best control in the world and we want to try to go as straight as possible so we can go as fast as possible. But making these turns, obviously we're going to hit the wall a little bit, do things like that. But the real important thing is that we hit these boosts. You'll see there are three different boosts on this map. That's going to be the first one and it's going to give us an insane amount of speed. So if we miss a single one of those, not only are we probably going to lose this map, but even if we won, we would have gotten a much slower time. So yeah, obviously just not the best thing in the world. There are also gonna be points where we can die. You can see that some of the walls are starting to go away, so we have to be a bit more careful. But to be honest, this is not the hardest mini game in the world. Thankfully on these 2v2s, your teammate will always react to what you do. You pretty much have full control because it would be very annoying if you're doing everything right and the teammate is just going in a completely different direction. 
So yeah, Nintendo, thank you for noticing that and not making him terrible. Next up, we have Handcar Havoc. And for this one, the entire time we want to mash as fast as possible so we can go over 200 miles per hour and reach max speed. We also want to make sure that we make the turns correct but since the CPUs, like I said, are really good in the 2v2s, at least when you're using them, he's going to follow exactly what we do, and we're not going to fall off or anything, even if we do go max speed the entire time. So we're just going to be coming up on the end. Finally, we get this section where we just mash as fast as possible. We have a couple of ups and downs, but not too much to say about there, and we'll beat Yoshi and Rosalina yet again. Now we're on the dungeon dash, and this is probably one of the strangest ideas for a minigame I've ever seen in my life. We just have to go step by step, but like, why? Why are we in these things? And also, why are we in a place that could murder us so easily? There are the thwomps, there's a bunch of fireballs and stuff coming at us, but here's where we're finally gonna start going hard. And as long as I just do this correctly, don't mess up any of my movements, we'll make it before Rosalina and Yoshi make it. And then also, this is one of the funniest things. So we make it out and we're locking them inside, so they are never coming out. We just condemn them to die. To be fair though, I guess we do kill the CPUs a lot in this game, but okay, I'm gonna kill you, Luigi, if you do that again. Luigi! Okay, we're gonna restart that one. Not my greatest start in the world, but yeah, this is the air hockey one where we just have to hit it in their goal like that. To be honest, I can't really only blame Luigi. That was kind of my fault too, but Luigi is not going to the right places at all. Thank you for doing that for once. And basically what happens with this is the shell will get faster the more we hit it for each of these rounds. And then hopefully we get in their goal before they get in ours. There's only one more we have to do. Somehow these guys have the greatest defense of all time, but I'm just gonna keep hitting it because I can't rely on Luigi at all. And we can finish out that one. Next we have balloon burst and this one's a pretty simple one. All we have to worry about is blowing up our balloon before Yoshi and Rosalina can blow up theirs. And for this one, we want to do this nice and slow, basically getting the full extent of our pumps. And yeah, there's not too much to say. We're just alternating between pressing the left and the right trigger, slowly getting our guy up there. And eventually he is going to get close to popping. And there we go. That one wasn't too bad. And that means it's finally time for number 70, Cake Factory. And this one is probably one of the funniest mini games when you're on easy mode, because for Yoshi and Rosalina, they're just going to keep messing up so much they have no idea what they're doing. For some reason, Luigi is actually playing pretty good for me, even though he is also an easy mode CPU. But yeah, we just have to place down the cake and then a strawberry that kind of looks like too big a strawberry for the cake, but I guess it's not my cake, so I'm not gonna complain. We'll place down one last one right there and we might be able to get a last one, but Luigi chokes, we only got 11, but still much better than Yoshi and Rosalina got. And here's kind of where I messed up big time. I meant to put Sky Pilots on master mode, so I tried resetting and instead of going back to just the select courses screen, I went back all the way to like the mini game select screen and I had to go back into free play, wasting like 15 seconds or something, kind of unfortunate. Anyways, after that bit of a blunder, we're back in the actual game and in Sky Pilots, you can either be the driver or you can be the person that actually flaps the wings. Now I wanna be the person that flaps the wings because we can be just a bit faster than Luigi when we do that, but even as the pilot, we only lose like one second, so it doesn't really matter enough to reset. Now for this one, we're racing the other people, but the other people, even though they are gonna be on master mode, they're gonna get hit by like multiple cannonballs and stuff like that. They don't make all the boosts, so we can very easily beat them. Our real only challenge is making sure we go fast. And I really don't know how the master mode CPUs are messing up this much. I think I've only ever got hit once by one of those cannonballs because they're really not that hard to dodge. And once I learned the mini game, I could just go straight forward. They just got hit by another. It's a little embarrassing. But we're coming up at the end, we just have to dodge that cannonball, go to the goal. Lost to my best time by like two seconds, but still pretty fast. Now we're on to etch and catch, a mini game that I really don't like because we can't communicate with the CPU. So we just have to hope that'll follow our direction and go in the right one. Like with that, Luigi, I don't even know what you're doing. We just missed the toad. Lost a little bit of time, but we're still doing much better than the other people, I guess. Or I guess we're tied, so maybe not that much better. These are also easy CPUs. So we probably shouldn't be messing up this much, but here's where we can come ahead. Again, I have no idea what Luigi is doing. We only need five of these points though, and Luigi, please get out of my way. At least we finished out, even though he was trying to throw. Then we're on to picking panic, and I almost feel bad for how much better we're gonna do than these CPUs. 
because <laughs> just looking down at what they're doing, Yoshi is not even catching these fruit. Rosalina does not have the best throws in the world. Meanwhile, we're getting every single one of these in the basket because this is not a hard mini game. I just hope they can get a single point. They're still at zero. Rosalina, I saw that throw. I don't know what that was. And you just keep to a tempo. This mini game really isn't that difficult. I don't think I've missed a single one, but it's coming up at the end and it was 32 to zero. Sorry about that, guys. That's a little embarrassing for you. At least with Eats a Pizza, we're back to master mode CPUs, so maybe they have a chance, but actually, I probably shouldn't hope they have a chance. Anyways, we want the master mode CPUs, so Luigi is not just terrible. I've tried using him on easy, and he cannot eat a pizza for his life which isn't that hard of a thing in general. So we're doing a pretty good job. They're kind of leaving scraps all over the place. You just have to make sure you eat your pizza in a very good fashion. Just go from one end to the other, not leaving any scraps because obviously you'll have to go back and right at the end, we can meet up at the middle and finish out. And right after that, we have another master mode difficulty mini game, Dungeon Duos. And for this one, once we get to the end, it becomes a little interesting, but we'll get to that once we get there. For right now, all we have to do is mash. We just go forward. Luigi is running into a wall right now. I don't think he has a thought in the world, but yeah, not too much to say about this beginning. It's just our mashing abilities versus theirs. All of the CPUs are gonna have the same mashing ability. So the difference comes to how well I can mash. And yeah, it's just putting down four doors. There's really not too much to say about that. And that's gonna be the first 30 seconds. Next, once we get to this point, it's gonna test both our mashing ability and our jumping ability. So I have to mash while Luigi jumps over there. He's gonna go to this other lever. I can start jumping on this. I actually almost missed that one, which would have been very embarrassing. And then we can go to this one, do some more mashing. I don't have to stop it because Luigi's gonna be good enough to jump on it without me doing that when we're both mashing on this thing at the same time it's actually going to go faster and then i can come up here as well but here's where the mini game gets awful because this is completely luck based for which pipe you have to go into so i have had multiple times where i'm way ahead of the cpus and they catch up because of this part at least finally luigi actually found the pipe so we won't be losing this mini game but yeah this part is just awful it turns a skill based mini game into one that is mostly luck based that you can very easily lose now for the final bit, all we have to do is blow up the hot air balloon, which I don't think that would work because are we blowing up hot air? I feel like this air would be cold, but who cares what I have to say? We made it out and yeah, not the worst time ever. Following that, we have reverse the bomb and this one is pretty funny when you're playing against easy CPUs because the other CPUs just have no idea what to do. They're gonna get hit by so many bombs. And thankfully, even though there is a timer of 30 seconds, if we can finish them off and hit them 10 times, then we'll win instead of having to wait for the entire thing. So yeah, already we won and didn't get hit once ourselves. Then we're on to burn style, which is probably the most dangerous jump rope minigame I've ever seen in my life. Because if we get hit by this, we're definitely going to die in this lava. And right there, they got hit, so they're probably dead. Now we're on to Rocky Road, and I think this minigame is really fun, except for the part that we have to work with our teammate. And sometimes Luigi just decides that he wants to be a terrible teammate and starts punching us and stuff. But at least so far, we've been doing pretty good. Here's where I'm a little worried because it's only one rock, so at least we're staying on our own sides. Luigi is going for the kicks. I'm going for a couple punches. Now we have the three rocks that we're going to come up to, and this time Luigi comes to my rock. Luigi, stay on your side. It's going to be much faster. At least he goes for the middle while I go for the left one, but that was a little annoying. You can't really trust Luigi all the time. We're going to keep driving by, and we're going to be making it over to the two big rocks. And since they're a bit bigger, I'll probably go for some kicks this time because there's more surface area to act actually hit them and they're a lot more consistent. I can also help Luigi because he was really struggling for a second. And I believe this last one, yeah, this is going to be the last rock. It's one huge rock that we have to take out together. What I like to do for this one is punch it while Luigi kicks it. It seems like that gets the job done really quickly. And yeah, we've made it to the end before Rosalina and Yoshi can even break their rock. Finally, we can pick up Toadette so Toad can finally show off what a chat he is driving his car and we made the win. Now we're on to paint misbehaving and this mini game is kind of just there. The thing about this mini game is we have to wait out the 30 seconds no matter what. Even if we get all the Goombas to be our color, it just doesn't matter. So really the first like 20 seconds don't really affect what the results are gonna be. Instead, we can just try to make everything pink. I don't really worry about it too much. And then finally for this last 10 seconds, this is where I try to be a little bit more exact, making sure that I hit all the blue Goombas, turning them pink, and it looks like we should be able to come home with the win. And yeah, 
We only missed two Goombas, so that was a pretty good job. Which leads us to number 80, TikTok Hop, which finally we're gonna be on the 2v2 mini games. In this one, all I have to do is beat Luigi. It's just gonna be brothers facing off. And TikTok Hop is a pretty easy one when you are on the easy difficulty. If you're on master, it gets up to like round 30 and stuff. But here, Luigi already got taken out after three turns. Then we have Vine with me. For this one, we have to swing from Vine to Vine. And it's not always going to be a simple rhythm like it is at the beginning. We have to wait out this one so we can make sure that we actually make it to the next Vine. And yeah, we're gonna have to do that for this next one too, which this Vine is actually being a little annoying. We're not getting the best RNG in the world, but we can make it over there. And yeah, just going from vine to vine, making sure we don't fall off because that's gonna lose even more time. Meanwhile, Luigi is doing something. Um, I don't think he really understands the point of this mission, but at least he hasn't died yet. But he might die because, yeah, he's gonna be staying there forever. You're never getting up, man. Following that is gonna be Motor Rooter, another pretty fun mini game where we have to go on the boost pads to get up some speed. And then we also have to dodge the electricity. You'll see that there are these electricity walls where they only have one small opening, and we kind of have to guess where it's going to be. There's not too much indication of which direction it is, so we have to hope we're in the right place. But we've been doing pretty well so far until that happened. It doesn't really matter though, because Luigi is going so slow, I don't even know if he's trying, as he hit a single boost pad yet. <laughs> but finally, we make it up to the end, and yeah, Luigi, you can stay here forever as well. But now it's time to show Luigi true pain with our next minigame, Mass Meteor. Now for this one, we can't really speed it up. The only thing we can do is not get hit by any of these rocks. If we get hit by one of them, we're gonna lose some time. So yeah, I'm just gonna take my time being careful, missing all of them. While Luigi, I don't think he's missed a single rock. Maybe he thinks that the objective of the mini game is to actually hit the meteorites, but yeah, this is a little <laughs> embarrassing. And you can see on the little map thing in the middle that we are way ahead of him at this point. So there's no real risk in us losing. It's just how fast can we actually get this mini game done? We'll squeeze through those rocks. And then we have these last two rocks as well. Then finally, right at the end, I just wanna be as far right as I can because we can go right inside this portal. And here on the ending screen, you'll see that Luigi is now in space forever, getting hit by space rocks. Now we have Spin Doctor, and I'm pretty sure there's probably somebody in the world that actually likes this minigame. I do not. This is probably one of the worst minigames in my opinion, just because you have to go select the right path. If you pick the wrong path, then you have to go backwards and stuff. It can be really bad. But basically, the thing that makes this so hard is these pink things. They only go in three different directions. So if you're on the wrong side, you just can't go through and have to go backwards. But since I am doing easy difficulty, that's not really gonna be a problem. I can take my time going through, making sure I'm taking the right directions, finally come up on the end, and that's gonna be our win. Which finally leads us out of the 1v1 mini games and into the coin mini games. And for this coin mini game, we have Hammer Drop. And yeah, we just have this Hammer bro sometimes he's gonna throw coins or coin bags and sometimes he's gonna throw hammers now for the coin mini games there is actually a winner for who gets the most coins so i do want to make sure that i am doing my best even though it kind of is like everyone's a winner because everyone is getting coins but no i have to take first place so we're just going through we have way more coins than everybody else it's kind of a little pathetic all these other people have one coins i guess yoshi has six so good job dude but I mean, they tried their best. Next, we're gonna be on to Castaways. We are Castaways. Sorry, I always think about that song when I play this mini game. Anyways, this is a pretty easy one when you are on easy difficulty, except I am not getting any of the chests. Okay, there's gonna be a chest. We're gonna go for it right at the back and of course miss it because I'm bad at the mini game. And then also Rosalina is gonna take that same chest that we just missed, but it's not really gonna matter because we have a full minute to try to get as many coins as we can. So I like going to the back because I feel like it's the most consistent, especially once I actually get the cast down. If you try to go for the middle, it's a little less consistent. And sometimes the really close one is consistent, but there are a lot less chests. So in general, I just try going for the back. We now have 20 coins, which means we're in a very good place. I do wanna make sure I get at least 30 though, just to make sure that I definitely win. If you only do have 20, there is a chance that maybe Rosalina could get one more chest, but it looks like at this point we should be good. So I'm just gonna go for one more of these coin bags, see if we can grab that as well, but I don't think we're gonna have enough time, but still 30 coins is going to be enough to get us the win and that'll be another one done. Next we have Parasol Plummet and this one can be a little bit scary just depending on the RNG we get. 
basically I'm gonna stick to one side and hope that we get a couple of coin bags. You'll see that Yoshi and Luigi have gotten a coin bag or at least that's what it looks like. Meanwhile, I've gotten a ton of coins, but because they're worth so much less than the coin bag, it's not really doing anything for me. And yeah, this is a little bit scary. My side really needs to get a single coin bag, but there comes a couple. We missed that one, but we got another one and there is another coin bag up there. I just have to make sure that I at least have a little bit more than everybody else. And that was way too close for comfort, but we got it done. Now we have x-ray payday. I like this one because it tests my memory. So we have coin bomb, coin, coin, nothing, coin, coin, punch, bomb, punch, punch, coin, 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 punch, coin, punch, coin, nothing, coin, bomb, punch, punch, coin. Okay, so we just have to go to the last one. That's gonna be our last coin. And we got everything correct while everyone else did terribly. Next, we're on to quicksand cash. And for this one, it's going to be another 3v1, but it's a 3v1 coin mini game. We do wanna be the one person because the easy CPUs are not the best in the world. Luigi did get very lucky and get a coin bag though. So not the greatest start in the world, but I basically just wanna make sure that I get all the coin bags. If they get them, it's gonna help them way too much. So now we have gotten ahead of them. We just have to make sure that we hold that out for the rest of this 10 seconds. If there's any more coin bags, I want to make sure I get it. So that's coming straight over to me. And that's going to be our win no matter what. They can't really catch up at this point. So take that, guys. Which is going to lead us to mini game number 90, River Raiders, which is going to be our last coin mini game. And it's also going to be another one of these 3v1s. And our strategy for this one is really funny. I just want to stay over to the left. They're going to be like, please let us try to get that coin bag. But I will not be letting them get that because that would waste way too much time. I haven't had the greatest start because I haven't gotten a coin bag, but I'm going to take that coin and okay, that was really bad. Please do not get that coin bag. Somehow they missed as well. And it looks like we're both going to end up with five, which does still count as a win, but that was way too close for comfort. Thankfully though, once we do make it to the end screen, you'll see we all got a star. So it does count as a win. I'm also realizing I was actually very wrong about that being our last coin mini game. We actually have four more of these, so that's a little awkward. But anyways, this is now going to be our last 10 mini games. Of course, for this game, there are a total of 100 mini games. So we've already made it through 90. This is number 91. And yeah, it's a pretty simple one. All we have to do is get the coins since we're on the top row we have first dibs on all of the coins and the coin bags they have three coins right now while we have 17 so we're doing a pretty good job even if i stopped moving i would still win but i will take that coin bag just to make them feel bad and get it to 25 to 5. next we have puddle paddle which is going to be our first 2v2 coin mini game and this one is pretty easy at least when they are on easy difficulty because they're not going to be the fastest paddlers in the world we can just go around and get the coins and the coin bags before they can but sometimes something like that will happen where this hammer bro will throw a coin bag right at them and that's not really the greatest thing in the world but we are much ahead of them we just have to make sure we get the rest of these coins and really hope they don't get another coin bag because that could be very bad but it looks like coming up to the end we should come out with the win winning 14 to 10 which leads us to cash apart where two times we're gonna get launched up into the air and two times our partner is gonna get launched up into the air so we'll see luigi he didn't even try to move to the right that time i guess I guess that's what I get for having an easy CPU, but at least we are now way ahead of them because I'm a bit better than Yoshi. Luigi, will you be able to get any coins? Okay, he just got like four. And can I end out and get the whole 20? I do have to get a few of those. I actually missed one of them, but we're still gonna come home with the win, so I'll take it. And now for our actual last coin mini game, we have winner or dinner. For this one, we have to go around and get the coins that are coming out of the jar while also dodging the piranha plants that try to eat us. Now, I have never gotten eaten by a piranha plant. I don't even know how you get eaten by one of them. It feels like you would have to sit in front of them the entire time they're up there because they just don't even try to eat you. But there goes Yoshi. I don't know how you just got eaten, man. But you can see that we are now 15 to 2. There's only 5 seconds left. So it's not like they're going to be able to get a comeback and we can finish out yet another mini game, which means we're in our last six mini games. And for these last six, they're going to be in the sports and puzzles category. So for our first one, we have beach volleyball, which yeah, at the beginning, we can just keep getting aces by going to the lower corner. This won't work forever though, because eventually Rosalina is going to catch on as you see. So now we're actually going to have to return. I will hit it to Luigi. Luigi hits it back. I go for the spike. 
why did my spike not work? Okay, I don't know what just happened there, but we're gonna try this again. It looks like I'm gonna give it to Luigi this time and he's gonna be able to get the point. Now, as long as we stay as the people who are getting the points, we will get the serves, so that's always gonna be nice. But they definitely are starting to catch on to how I'm getting these aces, which isn't the best thing in the world. And for some reason, I am not, oh wait, I think I know what I'm doing wrong. Okay, I'm supposed to jump up with B. I was trying to jump by pressing A because it's been so long since I've played this mini game. I have had to reset for this video so many times, but okay, that's a little embarrassing, whatever. We're just gonna get it done now. If I get the return, it's usually pretty easy, especially because Rosalina and Yoshi many times are just gonna be in the exact same place. And can we get another ace? That is now gonna be six to zero, which means we're on match point. Now for this one, I'm gonna go for another ace. It's not gonna work this time, but we should be able to finish out this mini game pretty easily. I'll pass it to Luigi, do one of those right in the corner. That's gonna be seven zero, and that's also gonna give us the win. Now we have ice hockey, and I'm gonna be honest, I'm not really the best at this mini game, just because shooting is kind of difficult. Like right there, it hit off the pole instead of going in. So yeah, not my greatest performance ever, but we are on easy difficulty and we have an entire minute to score. So we'll probably be fine. I don't know how Luigi just missed that though. That was a little embarrassing. We can go for this shot though. That does not go in, but I am able to steal that. Let's go for another shot. And finally we get one to zero and we only have about 30 seconds left. Now at this point, we really wanna get the puck. I do not wanna give these guys a chance to score at all. So what I'm gonna do is be kind of a jerk to Yoshi. Uh, we're just gonna stay in the back of here and just skate back and forth. Yoshi has no idea what to do. And yeah, we're gonna be here for the rest of the time. Even if you are playing this on master difficulty, the CPUs have no idea what to do. So we could just use this strategy as long as we get one point up and you almost feel a little bit bad, but then you realize that we're almost done with the speed run and I really wanna get a good time. So yeah, we'll finish out with that mini game, even if it was kind of mean. Which will lead us on to shell soccer. For this one, we're gonna get the shell and we wanna hit as many Goombas as possible. So I'm kind of gonna angle it right there to get three at once. Now you can get more Goombas if you play a little bit better, but it is a bit scary because we also don't wanna get the shell stolen. And that was a really bad kick. But yeah, we have to take out all of their Goombas. There's no time limit or anything like that. It just take out the Goombas little by little. That's two more. And now we just have the last one to take out. So for this one, I'm just gonna steal the shell once again. They're not really gonna be able to do anything. We can take that one out. But then Rosalina actually comes up and Luigi is not playing well without, Luigi, I need your help, please. Okay, Luigi takes it. Is he going to be able to score? They're kind of just letting him. That's gonna be 7-0 and we take home another win. And that means we're now on the last three, starting with Mario's Puzzle Party. Now for this one, we wanna go for combos, meaning we wanna get multiple of these things to match at the same time so we can get multiple points. Right there wasn't the best, but basically for this mini game, I'm not really going to try to match these because that would take way too much time and there's really no point in it when we can kind of just hope that things work out for us. Like right there, we got a ton of points. We are now up to 50 and we have to get up to 100. So all I do is just put these down as fast as possible. Hope that the other people aren't able to get enough points. That's gonna be a huge combo right there. We can get another one of these thwomps and we should be about done if we just get any amount of luck. Please get me something that will work right there. That's gonna be 100 points and we beat them all. Now we have Blockstar, which is going to be a 1v1 puzzle mini game. And for this one, there's not too much of a way to speed it up besides for just surviving and also using these arrows to drop some more blocks on Luigi's stuff. And in the easy difficulty, it's really not gonna be the hardest thing in the world. I have all the time in the world, Luigi is gonna start to mess up. You can see that the blocks are really starting to come. He has no idea how to deal with them. And yeah, we'll just keep trying to get these arrows matching five in a row and it will be very easy. It looks like Luigi is almost dead. Please hurry, Luigi. I really wanna get the sub 130 and it seems like he is about to die. He definitely could have saved that, but he had no idea what to do. And that's gonna be our win. And finally, we've made it on to our last mini game, Stick and Spin. Now this one is pretty simple. All we have to do is match five of these colors to cause them to go away. And also if we connect them to these blocks that say like one on them, then what will happen is those disappear as well and then go onto our opponent's side so they have to deal with them. But we're never really gonna get to that point because obviously this is easy difficulty. So yeah, we're kind of just playing to play right now. Our real hope for this mini game is that Luigi messes up enough to have 10 of his blocks outside of like the blue inner circle. Once he gets 10 out of there, we will win. But he is actually playing out of his mind. He is like, I do not wanna give you the sub 130, which I really don't appreciate Luigi, please. 
just mess up enough we really are coming up at the end but it looks like he's finally going to get out and it is not enough time we will end off time right there get the one 30.02. A little disappointing, but still a pretty good run. We'll also end up with 21st place on speedrun.com. And yeah, subscribe if you enjoyed. Bye.